Jr. leads off, and he takes care of him quickly at 101. The Grom lays down his marker. Three pitches, one strikeout. Two out and nobody on. Here's Ozzie Albies. And he takes care of Albies on three pitches. An eight-pitch first inning for DeGrom. 34 in a row is retired in the first inning. That's come to bat, no score. For the 11th consecutive start, Jacob DeGrom has retired the side in order in the first inning. Two of them via strikeout. And Pete Alonso will be the hitter. VR creeping down the line, and that kicks away, and here comes VR, and he'll score the first run of the game. Now, VR was halfway down the line when the pitch was thrown, and when it got away from Kevin Smith, VR was able to score easily on the wild pitch, and the Mets fashion a run without a hit in the first inning. 3 1 on the way. Ground ball out to Dansby, sliding stop to his backhand side, pops up, throws over, gets the out. And that ends the bottom of the first inning. But the Mets pick up a run without a hit, a walk, a ground out, a fly out, and a wild pitch move VR all the way around the bases. And at the end of one inning, it's 1-0 New York. Guillermo Heredia leading off in the third inning. 1-2 coming to Heredia. And he lines one caught by the Grom. What can't he do? One out. Kevin Pillar the batter. Wind in the pitch. Hard hit ball left side. Diving stop by Riley. He gets to his feet, throws him out. What a play by Austin Riley. Man, great job. Take his time getting up, even though it's a fast runner, you got plenty of time. We've seen him kind of hurry some throws lately over to first. That one, you see how he kind of gets on top of it more. Well, big moment now here in a 1 0 game. DeGrom getting a little unsettled here with two out, a walk and a long double. And now Sandoval to pinch it with the tying and go ahead runs in scoring position. And Sandoval pops up on the first pitch. The yard comes in to call. Side retired. Big pitch by DeGrom. They're now two for 23 against him this year with runners in scoring position. So Jake will leave after five innings. He lowers his world leading ERA to 0 0.50, and he's now thrown 30 consecutive scoreless innings. It will also mean that Jake will be the first pitcher in history to allow one earned run or less in 12 straight starts. Not just 12 straight to start the season, but any 12 start span in Major League history. Albert Almora Jr. will lead it off. And hung up and Riley, another great play at third. That's two of them for Austin. And Almora just waves his hand dismissively, <laughs> can't believe it, while the Braves dugout loves it. Almost the exact same play. Yeah, another great play. Best fans are thinking, we got another third baseman over there. We got to deal with this. Who is this guy? A couple great plays by Austin. So now Jeff McNeil will make his return to action. The last time we saw Jeff was in St. Petersburg on May the 16th. When for the second time he hurt his hamstring. Remember he cramped up earlier a week before. He gets a nice ovation for his return to action. He lines one into center field, and Heredia will have to play it on a hop. McNeil, first pitch he sees off the injured list. It's a rope for a base hit. Newcomb brought in to face Dom Smith, who's just one for six against him. And Dom rifles one down the right field line. That'll go in the corner for extra bases. Nito is in. McNeil scores. Here's VR coming to the plate. He will score. A bases clearing double for Dominic Smith, and it's 4 0 New York. Albies in his last 18 games coming into today, 11 extra base hits and 16 runs batted in. As this ball is tomahawked to deep right field, Ozzy Albies has left the building. A two run homer, and the Braves are on the board. It's now 4 2. Another extra base hit for Ozzy, his 11th homer. Kevin Smith. Bounce to third, double. First pitch on the way, pumped in the air behind first base. Smith back now into foul ground, makes.